this is probably a philosophical question, but do you do you ever wonder if this is how our human brain works? Do we do chain of thought thinking, but it's so kind of embedded into us that it's burnt into our neural pathways and we don't think that we're doing it? Do you feel like we are kind of like as build these systems and as we kind of try to find ways to make it more intelligent, we're kind of replicating what the human brain does? I have no idea. I get, I, I'm so sorry. I get this question so often, even 10 years ago when, when it was uh-huh. like L, uh, RNNs, LSTMs, do you think this is how the human brain works? I always have to say, I, I don't know. I'm a mathematician. I have no idea how the brain works. <laughs> yeah. I've read all the blog posts saying, this is how neurons work in the brain. And I'm like, I remember that from chemistry or biology and also a little bit of chemistry, but I don't know. So to your point, I wish I knew the answer. Does it feel like that's what we do? Sure. It feels like what I do a lot of the times, but is that just because I'm projecting that onto my own thought patterns? I have no idea. I wish I knew, frankly. If, if anything, if I were ever to take a sabbatical, whatever that would look like in my startup life, one of the things I would want to do is finally get to the answer of, have neuroscientists, are, are neurologists, neuroscientists, are they aware of these comparisons that people make <laughs> to, ner- to neuroscience? And what do they have to say about this? <laughs> I feel like that's uh, this is a challenging problem because if you if you ask this to um, to, to a, like a neurobiologist or a neuroscientist, they're gonna go, I have no idea what a language model does. Right? <laughs> they have the opposite problem. Um, I, I think me, you know. This is a trap because I read somewhere that we as humans often have this propensity to equate the most technically advanced uh, concept of the age to the human brain. Mm -hmm. Because I remember there was this thing about um, when the Industrial Revolution happened, right? And there were all these fancy machines. They were like, these machines work like the human brain because... That was the peak of technology at the time. So I feel like, you know, we we often tend to do this because we attribute it to the peak of technology in the biological side with the peak of technology that we have created. Um, But but having said that, I believe that, um, I I have no idea myself, but just a gut feeling. I feel like we might tend towards how the human brain works because what we are trying to do is to simulate it in some way. And I feel like the progress we make, we are going to, again, th- there's a bit of evolution that's happening in, in the AI sense as well. We're going to try out 10 ideas and one of them is going to win. I feel like that evolution is ca- kind of going to mirror the the biological evolution in a way. But it's just a gut feeling that I have. Maybe I'm completely wrong. But this is a problem. We have two different sciences which are so advanced. We have no idea what the other person uh, knows. In a lot of ways, it, a lot of people don't care, right? To them, it's like, well, it's doing what my brain would have done. So do I care if it's doing it yeah. the same way? Mm, maybe. But for for I would argue for a lot of people out there who are just trying to implement this, they say, well, look, I'm going to prompt it well. And yes, I understand that if I prompt a human well, they also get smarter. So I see the similarities. Yeah. Um, but it's at the end of the day, are my tests passing? <laughs> that's a lot of, that's what a lot of people are really just want to care, what they care about.